so on this day in 1941, President Roosevelt approved what became known as the Manhattan Project. But did you know that Britain contributed to this project? So before America entered the atomic race, British scientists had already laid the foundation. In 1940, Otto Frisch and Rudolf Pires, sorry about the pronunciation, working at the University of Birmingham, calculated a small amount of uranium-235 could unleash enormous power. Their findings reached the British government and led to the creation of the Maud Committee to study whether such a weapon could be really built. By 1941, the committee's report confirmed that atomic weapon just wasn't science fiction. It was fact. It was achievable. This launched tube alloys, Britain's own atomic warfare program. And this was the first organised effort of its kind anywhere in the world. But wartime Britain lacked the industrial power to make it happen. So the research and many of the scientists were shared with the United States. When America established the Manhattan Engineer District in 1942, it built the groundwork first done in Britain. In 1943, under the Quebec Agreement, the two nations merged their efforts, but control quickly shifted to the United States, leaving Britain sidelined in the project it had begun. The Manhattan Project would go on and change the course of history. So... This short offers a brief look at Britain's crucial but often forgotten about contribution to the Manhattan Project. So if you like shorts like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I thank you all for listening and have a good day now. Goodbye.